Hello, thank you for joining me. You can see who I am. And just if there's any confusion as to which Gillingham or Gillingham I'm in, it says Medway, so we, here we are, we're in Kent. I think the other one is pronounced Gillingham, the one in Dorset, and this is Gillingham. Anyway, we're here today for an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. We're going to go to the Strand Miniature Railway, which is down on the Medway estuary. I arrived, now this, that way goes towards London. I arrived from that way, from Sittingbourne, because I took my car to Sittingbourne to have some work done on it. So the larder's driven to Sittingbourne, and I've come back towards London by train. So usually, if I was coming here, I would have come from that direction. Anyway, I'm going to find my way out of the station. Let's go and find this railway. So I'm now walking down to the railway. The railway station's there, runs along there. There's the depot just there now. We're going up a bit of a slope, and we've come to a railway bridge here. And it goes over, well, a railway, but you can't really see that it's a railway. There is a railway down there. It's an old line to the docks. It's currently mothballed, I understand, so I don't think we'll be riding a train down there anytime soon. If you look this way, again, you still can't see much more, but you can just see there's a signal box there on the main line, so that would have controlled this junction for the line up to the docks. So if I was to follow it right the way down, Eventually, I think it might have gone down towards Chatham Dockyard. I'm going to continue that way. By the way, the town centre is in the other direction. I'm going to continue that way to find the Medway Estuary and the Strand Miniature Railway. This walk through urban Kent is now starting to leave behind the houses and we go out into this area, which seems to be a cross between a graveyard and a park. There's a few random gravestones around, but when you get down to the bottom, it looks very much more like a park. There's a church just up there, so I think this was probably once like the town's main cemetery. I'm going to continue on down. When I get to the end of the park, there should be a main road, cross the main road, and then that's the park where the Miniature Railway is situated. We're nearly there now. We're just walking through another housing estate, but the walk is about to change quite drastically when we get to here. This is the Medway Estuary. Over there is the Isle of Grain, the island there, that's the Who Salt Marsh. There is also a fort on the island, um, about where my finger is, um, over there. And there's also a power station, which is just out of focus, but there is a um, Kingsnorth power station over there. So that's looking out. If you continue down there, you get to Thames Estuary. I can just make out the Isle of Sheppey in the background. We're going to follow on along here. So like I say, that's Isle of Grain. And this miniature railway is just round the corner. We've had a little walk along the estuary. We're almost there. So, as I said, that's um, the Isle of Grain and everything over there. Just out of shot round the corner is Upner Castle. I remember going there as a child. But somewhere I didn't go as a child was here, the Strand. This is known as the Strand Leisure Park. And uh, as you can see, it says you were here. It says Miniature Railway. Miniature Railway goes around there, and if we look here, here is the Miniature Railway. There's a little station there. I can't see a train yet, but I'm expecting there probably is one. So let's have a look. Now there's a, a slope here going up. So let's have a look. Oh, and I can see a train coming. Actually, I can see now, the sign says exit, so I think what you do, you queue up over there to get on, and then you exit from here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around there and get on the train.
I had an enjoyable ride on the train. Notice the station is called Strand Station. I find that quite interesting because Aldwych Station, the disused London Underground Station, which closed in 1994, was originally called Strand before it was renamed Aldwych. So, um, you know, anyone who likes tube stations, if you want to catch a, not a tube train, if you want to catch a train from Strand Station, you can down here in Gillingham. This railway, though, has more than its fair share of abandoned stations because Strand Station, and funny enough, Strand Station isn't its original name, but we'll get to that later. If we have a look on this map, which we saw earlier, a couple of things come to mind. There's a passing loop. That passing loop isn't there, as we would have seen when we were on the train. I'm going to explain about that, but I'm also going to explain about the railway's evolution. So as we walk through here, as I say, that's Strand Station just there. The railway comes along here. It's very windy today, as you can see, the wind's doing its best to rearrange my hair. The railway line comes along here, and it runs on this skewed level crossing across the path. But look down there, there is a field in section. That is a disused section of track, the old passing loop. And to give it away even more, the set of points is still there. They're like sprung points. So I think if a train was to run that way, it could simply run onto the concrete, but that's probably why they only go round clockwise. So as for the railway itself, it has quite a long history. I understand there's been references to there being a miniature railway here as long ago as the 1920s but this line dates back to around 1948 the council wanted a railway it's still today owned by the council but i think it's um, possibly contracted out i might be wrong if you know tell me um the council wanted a railway and they planned for a nine or nine and a half inch gauge railway what actually was built was the more common seven and a quarter inch gauge railway and the railway wasn't as long as it was. This long straight here, this is part of the original railway. And the train, as you can see, it's come around the corner. The line ended just around the corner, around there, when it first opened. So it was an up and down. Let's just watch the train goodbye. Nice friendly driver and passengers giving us a wave as they pass by, which is always nice. Miniature railways are very friendly like that. There's also a tunnel up there, which I um, think probably also acts as the railway's uh, storage shed at night. I expect the loco goes in there because I've noticed there's a door on it. So that is quite often a feature of miniature railways. Tunnel by day, storage shed by night. There's another level crossing up there, hence why the driver has to keep beeping the hall. Now, this is where things get interesting we're going to come to a disused station there's a few disused stations but they're not as easy to spot as you might imagine we get to the end of the tunnel just here that's the end of the tunnel um, this is the original station here was the station and it was originally called strand station they opened it here you got on the train you went along there around the corner and came back. The railway later was extended to form a complete loop. Now, I understand when that happened, the station was moved just around the corner, crossing at this uh, level crossing here. The station was moved just around the corner to here. So there was a railway station here. And then, as I say, it became a full circuit. A passing loop was added I think the passing loop was added around um, maybe 1988 I think it was 1975 it became a full circle but when the, re the passing loop was added the I think that's when the current train arrived it had Mardike carriages I believe that is a Mardike loco it since had newer carriages and it um, had like an observation car at the end and they made it a bit western and um, they named the station Fort Apache. Eventually though, when the station was moved over there, that station was originally called Fort Apache and then it's now become Strand again. So it's quite complex um, as in the renaming. Although there's only ever been two names of stations, Strand and Fort Apache, they've moved around the site a few times. So. The current Strand Station was originally Fort Apache. Now, as for the passing loop, the passing loop 
I understand was installed um, around the early 90s but then it, that was so they could run a two train service they used to have an HST I have traveled on the HST one half of it is at uh, funny enough I've traveled on it at two different railways each half of different railways one half is now at the uh, Brockwell apartment it's row in London if you want to see that video have a look at the screen now you'll see the HST that used to run here at that railway the other half was at Beaconscott at one point I remember riding behind it now I'm not sure what's happened to it I understand also at one point the station was here just to complicate things they keep moving it around it was in I think 2001 a section of track was damaged and they realized to, to do a quick mend they could take a section of track out the what was pretty much by then a redundant parcel loop so a section of track was removed they then had a full circuit again unfortunately it meant losing of the parcel loop i think there would also have been a run round loop at the other end at one point so for a fairly short railway it's almost a bit like a hornby train set you know it's just like it goes around in a circle it's had quite an interesting history and it's also as all minutes railways are a very enjoyable addition to the area i do like the location okay you can't see it there you go my camera does that it's annoying but anyway it's a nice location here on the medway estuary to have this little railway running around it there have been steam locos here in the past um i understand i've seen some old pictures but they've disappeared if you want to know a lot of information the narrow gauge railway society does a nice little book on this railway which um, i was reading uh, this morning that's where they gave me most of my information from so that is also worth getting so what I'm going to do now, I'm thinking I'm going to do a bit of line sliding and I'm going to head out that way, out of the park and uh, back to the main station. I kind of came a bit of a long way because I wanted to walk along the estuary. I'm going to go back the short way. But if you're going to come and visit the railway, it's about a mile or so's walk. So let's just see the train a couple more times and it's back to Gillingham Station. now after a bit of line siding and a walk back through Gillingham we're back at the railway station what I'm going to do now I'm not sure if my car's going to be quite ready I'm going to get a train beyond Sittingbourne the other way it's going to be in a different video but I'm going to go to Fannet Parkway because it's not the newest railway station in Britain it was the newest railway station in Britain for one day and then they opened Portway Park and Ride so by the time you watch this video 
I will have published a video on Violet Parkway. I'm gonna catch a train. So if you'd like to come and visit this railway, you can get to it easily by train. It's a little bit of a walk down to the Strand, but it's quite a nice leisure park. There was a fun fair and everything as well on, which I'm not so worried about. There was, you know, a cafe, get an ice cream, all those kind of um, nice things you can do. You could also, if it came from London, it'd actually be quicker to have gone out of that gate line there. Just, um, but I went out the main gate line. Anyway, I'm gonna wait for my train. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And from Gillingham Station in Kent.